Recharge versus Great White. The results are in. Let me know which one you guys think is what in the comments below. For this comparison, I decided to use clover, beans, and peas. Germination happens here by placing the seeds into a paper towel and into my little incubator at 24 degrees Celsius until the seeds come back up. Fast forward a couple of days, we got the seeds germinated and we're going to put them into our little A and B test setup pails. If you want to learn more about those, you can click on the link up above. To start the setup out, I'm going to use some cheesecloth, put that inside of a 3 inch net cup. I think it's a 3 inch net cup and fill it up with perlite. The reservoir is going to be filled up with RO water and the nutrient solution. I'm going to use general purpose, general hydroponics mix, and that is one ml of flora, micro, and bloom. To plant the seeds, I just put them on top of the perlite and cover them up lightly. Now I did find a couple of these things, they actually rooted into the paper towel, so in those instances there of the clover, I just cut out a piece of the paper towel and that's gonna go on top. After I've got the seeds on, both sides are going to get sprinkled with either their respective side. For the purpose of this test, anything grown on the left is going to be recharge. Anything grown on the right side uh, is going to be great white. And I will try to keep the video consistent. So anything you see on the left is going to be recharge and on the right will be great white. Both get a light dusting on the top. And here you can see them before I close them up and get the irrigation going for these seeds. Just a little dusting of perlite to close them up and we'll turn the lights on and let them grow. Now to be consistent here, the irrigation for both is plugged into the same timer. That's going to be watered exactly the same as my Dutch Bucker Grow, which is four times a day for 30 minutes uh, a time. Once a week, I'm going to take the uh, Recharge or the Great White for its respective pails and mixing it with 200 ml of RO water, and that's going to get top water just to boost it up. I try to uh, evenly distribute the nutrients between the three, but whatever ends up being excess is just going to flow down to the bottom of the pail and get recirculated back up in the next watering cycle either way. Let's fast forward through different days. These videos are taken about two days apart. You can kind of see the plants growing here and progressing along. Total duration of this grow is about three weeks from the time of seed planting till finish. All right, let's start with the left side bucket here the recharge and we're going to pull out the clover and take a look at the roots i haven't seen them either this is my first glance at them while i was filming this as well both sides i'm very happy with the quality of roots although the recharge on the left has got a way longer string of root that's going down into the nutrient solution moving on to the bean for the recharge Took a little bit of wiggling to get this thing out of there. It's got quite the cluster at the bottom. That looks like that's where about the nutrient level was sitting at. But I did notice, did notice one thing about the first set of leaves had a little bit of yellowing. On to the great white and uh, something is discoloring it here in the video. It doesn't quite do it justice, but you can see it when I pull it out of the pail. The roots are extremely white and very robust. Looks really good. Very impressed at that. All the foliage is really nice. No deficiency signs on anything there. If you look at it side by side, you can kind of see there's a little bit of yellowing on the recharge one here for the foliage, and there's nothing on the great white. And the stem is a little bit more robust here as well. Moving on to the winter field piece on the recharge side. Nice long root here as well, but I did notice on this one, it has one strand and this root is quite slimy. There's something not right there. Off to the great white, here you can see the side by side. The great white root, is way more impressive on this plant, as you can see. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Everything on the left, all the left plants are recharged, all the right plants are great white. With the exception of the clover, I like the uh, other two roots better. Now something this test didn't show or doesn't really do justice of is the quality of the stalks or the uprightness of the plant. I try to demonstrate it here, but you can definitely see on the clover, the, uh, the stalks are definitely a little bit thicker on the great white than they are on the recharge. After I'm done with the nutrient solution, I did measure the parts per million and they're both very, very close. And I did also measure the pH so you have a chance to see that. Just a look at uh, both of the bottoms of the pails so you can see the sediment and how it settled out. Uh, there was no distinctive odors or smells. They both smelled fresh and clean. The overall for me is pretty clear. Looking at the overview again, I will be sticking with Great White for all of my indoor grows with the Dutch bucket, it seems to just give me better results. I'm pretty happy with it. Let me know what you guys think. If there's an A and B test that you'd like to see, be sure to leave that down below. On the side, at some point in time here, when I get it done, is going to be the flies and blurple light versus the spider farmer. Uh, just nice looking, energy efficient white light. 
I don't know what to call it, but those two lights are coming up in a comparison here next. <laughs> 